Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. It's uh, lovely summer weather, mid-August uh, 2022. And um, in the mornings often I go out and then I'm just grazing in the food forest for breakfast. And this morning I was just so grateful because uh, there's so many delicious things. So I made a plate for you so you can have a look at this breakfast for queens. Now it's uh, afternoon, but I'm gonna have it anyway. Uh, twice a day is uh, perfect. Um, of course, this is harvest time and maybe you can hear the machines get around the, the area harvesting like crazy before the rain comes back. And um, we are also harvesting all kinds of delicious things. And this is, this is what I'm grazing in the morning. So uh, lots of lovely, lovely seedless grapes from the greenhouse. So many. Uh, I'm freezing these because they are delicious uh, as some icy snacks uh, in wintertime. Very sweet and um, like, like sorbet ice cream. Wonderful. Then of course there are uh, lots of black currants and some red. The last of the red currants are also really nice right now. The, I think the very last ones are so delicious because they they lose this sort of very tart uh, quality that they can have sometimes. A couple of tomatoes, always lovely. Um, this is golden uh, queen, of course. <laughs> And some different plums. I've got some opal plums and I've got some uh, blue, I don't know actually what they are, but they are super tasty and delicious. And then um, the figs are ready now. And this is such a joy to me. We have three different kinds of figs. And this one is uh, Sultane. It's not the biggest one we have. We have another one, but it's, not, it's the last one to ripen. So this one is Sultane and uh, super sweet and delicious. It always ripens, no problem. And this one is the usual suspect, uh, brown turkey. I must say that I think the taste is comparable. I, they, are, they are really delicious taste-wise, but I kind of like the texture of the brown turkey better. But I'll take a fig any day, any kind. Um, I've also got a few um, a few choke berries. I think you call them in uh, in English uh, aronias, and uh, some raspberries. Uh, we are sort of in between the summer and the fall raspberries, but there are always some to find in the garden. And then, of course, blackberries, blackberries. Right now, we have bonanza blackberry, and they're so delicious. Uh, and some of the last ones are now the, mm, hang on, let me see what I can find. These are the sea buckthorn and these one berry has as much vitamin C as uh, a whole lemon. So I have a, a couple of these every day and that should cover me nicely for C vitamins. And uh, then we have the last ones here are I know that one of the, the ethical principles in permaculture is sharing. I never share these. These are the best mulberries. You see, they are so juicy and delicious. And sometimes I don't even tell my family when they ripen because I want them all to myself. It's, it's, not, it's not a nice feature, but I'm, I have to admit. And also we have a few of the white mulberries left. These are not juicy at all, but they're very sweet and taste uh, tasty. They, they are sort of vanilla sweet, uh, lovely, but these are my favorites. And um, to top it up, sometimes it's a lot of uh, acidity, I think. So sometimes I take a couple of cucumbers if I have space in my belly. I take a couple of uh, crystal lemon cucumbers because they sort of ease things up a bit. But that's breakfast for queens and I'm gonna have a second breakfast today like a hobbit. And uh, that's really wonderful. But thanks for watching and uh, see you later.